Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Heretic Shadow of the Serpent Riders. On this episode, we are taking care of the cesspool. This is another difficult level, but as you can see, this level or this episode is going to have a little bit of a water theme to it. Um, unlike the last episode, it has a lot of fire and ice theme to it. So maybe we'll see some ice, but first I kind of want to take care of this, but do not stand around too long because there are ophidians on either side of you. And I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, and there are Ophidians on either side of you here, you see. But I do want the health, so let me try to grab that as quickly as I can without the Ophidians bothering me. And that's not too bad. I think I'm going to leave the Ophidians alone for now, because they're going to waste my ammo. And over here we can't open this door, by the way, or that door, because they're yellow keys. So, you know, watch out for that. But over here we've got more gargoyles, and what I'd like to do... Let's kind of move over here and try to get a little bit of ammunition and health, but I want to move out of the way a little bit just so I can move over here and just try to pick these um, gargoyles off. So let me try to see how much I can do. If I have to switch to another weapon, I'll have to do that. I'm using the level to my advantage, so... And plus, if they get too close, then the Ophidians might attack them, so that's a good thing, too. And plus, I'm low on health, so I really need to watch it. Okay, good. Let's get another weapon out. I really don't want to use that Hellfire Staff just yet. And plus, you're kind of wondering, well, what happened to the Ethereal Crossbow? Well, we've got it. We just... Well, we don't have it yet, but we'll get it soon enough in this episode. I mean, we don't have it, but it'll 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 show up. It's kind of interesting in this episode that, well, in this set of maps, I should clarify that in the first map, you know, you don't get the ethereal crossbow just like you did in the first map of the first episode, which was City of the Damned. So they kind of leave you. To kind of fend a little helpless without the Thereo Crossbow. And that would help. Thereo Crossbow is a very nice weapon. But of course, they're not just going to hand it to you on a silver platter. Either, you know. I'm going to use the Elven Wand a little bit more on this level. So, there we go. And we can't grab that just yet, so don't worry about it. We'll, we'll be able to grab it soon enough. Okay, there we go. I wanted to get this guy ah, over this way, just so I could face him. Come here. Just come this way. That way you're easier to get rid of. There we go. And let's go back to the Dragon Claw. And uh, I want some health, too. I said I want some health. There we go. Now, we could go either direction, either left or right on the map. This map is very symmetrical. But each section is going to have a few challenges to it, so I'm going to go take care of the left side first, and that way I can do a little bit of damage to these guys. And this whole section has a lot of pods in it that you can explode, so they don't seem to respawn in my test runs of this, so that's a good thing too. But we are going to have to deal with a lot of tough enemies in this game, or this episode. Or this map, rather, I should say, in this video. That's the problem with the terminology, because I'm using episode to mean the segment of video that I'm recording, and I'm also using it to mean the selection of maps, which constitute, you know, the Domes of Despairal. So let me try to clarify that in the future, I would suppose. I think the best clarification would be probably saying in this video, and then refer to the episode as the episode, and so forth. But here's a Tome of Power, and that's really nice, and that's going to be very useful later on the level. I am not wasting that Tome of Power at all. Remember, I used a Tome of Power in the last episode. Sorry, the last video. I'll have to correct myself on that. I want to make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay, these are just regular golems. Those are easy to deal with. I'm surprised those pods did not take care of those golem, uh, gargoyles, rather. But, that's okay. We get the Wings of Wrath, and it's useful. So that's nice. And you may think there's a lot of secrets around here. Well, there are a few secrets in the level. Only three, as you'll see. And only 99 monsters. But believe me, they're 
more difficult than you would give them credit for. But the secrets are pretty easy to find, and they're pretty symmetrical, I would say. And by the way, where those two Ophidians were, well, those are secret rooms, so you'll eventually come across that. And we went left last time, and I don't want to go left again. Um, I do want to go right, and if you go right, you get the Ethereal Crossbow, which I forgot. And this just loops back around to this section. And I want to get some more health. I just want to make sure I've got everything covered in here that I want to get. And there are a few more um, enemies in here, in cages. Those look like Ophidians to me, so I'm not going to worry about them just yet because they're a little out of range. Well, no, I could probably do something akin to... Let me... No, I really couldn't take care of those. I have to kind of get up elevated a little bit or use the Wings of Wrath, and the Wings of Wrath is kind of a waste at this point. So anyway, now that we've gotten that taken care of, um, I think I want to take care of these Ophidians, maybe. Um, now that we've got the Ethereal Crossbow, I think we could take care of them. Just watch out, because they will attack on both sides. And that's the problem with this. I missed. Keep missing. Okay, there we go. I got that one, and I got that one. I lost a little bit of health, so let me reheal re -heal myself just a little bit, and then we'll move along. Just want to make sure that there's no other health potions around here. Yeah, there's one. Okay, good. So now that we've gotten that taken care of, we can go into the yellow key area, and these are a little more difficult of course. But um, that's what I wanted to take care of. You'll notice that there is a phoenix staff or a phoenix rod and an invincibility ring there, so that's nice. I don't want to use that weapon just yet. I'm going to use the crossbow a little bit more. Or maybe the elven wand at this point because I've got enough room to kind of lure these guys over. They don't want to get too close. There we go. Now what I want to do is move a little bit over here. Aha! You'll notice there's a little niche over here. Well, you'll you'll see later. I'm gonna try to be a little cautious with this map. It is kind of a bear. These guys have a lot of hit points. And, of course, he cornered me right at the last minute. Got a Shadow Sphere. I could use it, but I don't know just yet. Let's use a Hellfire Staff for a little bit. Well, no. I'm going to use the Crossbow. Try to get these to explode. I'm going to be really cautious in here because we're going to have a lot of tough enemies soon. Oh, by the way, this is another secret. I do want the armor, so... Now, where'd the Minotaur, where Minotaur go? Oh, there he is. There we go. Health is good. Thankfully, these are just regular golems, so they're a little easier to deal with. And here's another Wear Minotaur, by the way, so don't get caught off guard too much by that. And the Hell Staff, again, so that ammo is going to help us out quite a bit. Um, and here's where we were originally, where the golems were. So, before I go into that teleporter, I'm going to clear out the other side. Because of the fact that both sides are pretty difficult. Okay, there we go. Oh, I missed it. I, mean, I wasted ammo on them. I want to clear out both sides. And again, this level is rather symmetric. So it's more useful to clear out both sides. You know, let me say that one more time. And here are where we were last time with the Ophidians. Yeah, I'm getting hit a little bit. I'm trying to find a good spot where I can just kind of snipe these guys. That's good. One more in this cage, anyway. 
And now we got one or two Ophidians in this cage. An Ophidian is just a word for snake, obviously. Of course, everybody can Google that. In the case of the one or two people that aren't aware, that's what it means. Um, so that takes care of this side. I mean, well, yeah, I should have probably saved that health. The next area is rather difficult from what I remember, so I kind of want to push that out of the way and see what I can do to help myself out a bit. Um, Shadow Sphere would be nice. The Tome of Power might be nice. I'm not sure just yet. I'm going to keep the Tome of Power out and maybe the Dragon Claw, so we'll find out. Here we've got just a bunch of Disciples of the Sparrow, so... But actually, you know what we could do is just kind of... Get out of here. You can kind of do that. Just kind of go back and forth, I guess. Um... Let's see, I'm going to heal a little bit. I'm going to pull this out one more time. You can do this, kind of. Just kind of shield yourself. And make a run for it if you have to. I don't like close quarter combat with a Disciple of Despairal. And nobody should like that. There we go. Yeah, that was better than I thought it was going to be. In my testing of this level, I got really screwed out of things in there, so... And this, um, this section is easy with the Fidians. They're kind of cornered, so just go after them. With a rapid-fire weapon and you'll be okay. I'm a little low on health, but I think we'll manage. There's one spot that I'm really worried about, though. So, we'll find out what happens. We've got some mace spheres, so we might get another weapon soon. Hint, hint. So that takes care of that. We now have the green key. Um, so I think I'm going to heal up a little bit if I can find any, any place to heal up before we move on to the green, green door. So let me switch around to the other side. Let's see if I can find anything. So that's the way I went before. And see if there's any health around here that I want. Doesn't look like it. Let's try the other side. Um, let's see. This is where I want to go. Any health over here that I could use? Doesn't look like it. Um, no. So we're gonna have to go to the green door now. So this ought to be fun. Okay, green door time. I'm gonna be greeted by a couple of Ophidians here, and some gargoyles. So, just kind of deal with them one by one. I think I might use the Ring of Invincibility soon on this guy. But I think I'm going to be cautious on that, I'm not going to waste it. Seems like the accuracy of, at a long distance of this Elven Wand is not that great. There he goes. There are a lot of Disciples of Despair all around here. So what I want to do is heal myself up a little bit. Um, waste it on my Quartz Flasks. Um, I could easy, either use the Tome of Power or the Ring of Invincibility. Um, I think the Tome of Power might help a little bit more, though. And especially with this. So we'll see what happens. You'll see here. We've got a lot of I'm just going to rain Hellfire on everybody. And then, of course, up here, this is where we get the blue key, so I'm going to grab that before my Tome of Power expires. There's a lot of good items up here. Here we go, this is what I'm talking about, with the Disciples of the Sparrow over here. This is not the best weapon for that, so... That's a good weapon. Let's get the Ethereal Crossbow back out here. Okay, and replaced it with another Tome of Power. That's why I could use a Tome of Power, because there's a very good likelihood that with all those Disciples of Despero that a Tome of Power will drop out from there. So, that makes sense to me. If you're not using a Tome of Power, then it's a little more difficult, but you may be able to manage. And here's the Fire Mace, which... 
would have been nice to have that earlier, but that's okay. We'll manage. And I definitely want to go up here and grab it. Well, oh, come on. The bag of holding is going to be a lot of... Oh, come on. What the hell am I doing? Let's try that one more time. And I'm going to switch to the quartz flask in case I need it. So, something attacked me. There's a gargoyle. Gargoyle, where are you? There we go. So, anyways. Grab the Tome of Power. And this is going to lower with an Ophidian on it, so watch out. Where'd he go? There he goes. So that lowers with the Tome of Power on it. But there's a lot more enemies over here, and I'm going to skedaddle and heal myself up a little bit. Make sure I've got everything I want to out of this room before the disciples try to come and get me. And maybe I could use a Morphovum on them, but I only get one Morphovum so far, so I may save it. See, you've only got one, so... Ah! Something really attacked me. That was really smart. Quartz last time. That's okay. I'm being stupid. Um... There we go. Where did he attack me from? Oh, there he is. Probably shouldn't use that on this guy. There we go. Whatever. You know, I was a little stupid there, but I'll survive. I do want the map scroll, though. And by the way, this is a secret to this side with another invincibility ring, which will probably come in handy pretty soon. And over here is another gargoyle. This level doesn't seem to be as bad as the storehouse, or at least the second time I'm playing it, so... I do want to hit that switch though. That's going to open this this door to the exit. But of course over here... Ah, oh, come on. Um, I think I may use a Ring of Invincibility now. Because I want to get rid of these guys. But I've still got a little bit of time left. There's a lot of Disciples of Sparrow and everything up here. Might as well use it, you know. There we go, Disciple. Probably could have used it in another room, but I took care of them enough. Make sure there's no other enemies around here. 94, 99. We're good. There's not going to be too many left. There is a particularly tough enemy towards the end. But we'll be okay. We'll manage. Whoa, I didn't get too badly injured by that. Okay, one more enemy. I know exactly what that is, so I'm not worried about it too much. So, But I would like to heal up a little bit, if possible. Okay. That's good. And this is the next secret. So this takes care of the third secret. Now we get the Phoenix Rod. Which is useful. But, you know... What I would like to do now, though, um, let me see what I can use against this guy. We're going to have another enemy to deal with pretty soon, so I'll show you. I'm going to use a ton of power on this guy. Oh, come on, don't send a tornado after me. That's the last thing you need to do. Stupid tornado. This is the problem with this damn tornado. It just keeps attacking you. Okay, there we go. I took care of him. And let's see how many quartz flasks I have left. One, so that'll heal me up a little bit. I don't want to use the morph of them on the next level. Maybe a time bomb or something. Probably could have probably used a time bomb on him. So, anyways, this takes care of the entire level. Um, so there's nothing else I really wanted to show off here. We've got the wings wrapped. There's nothing really I want to show off there. We got all the secrets. We got all the enemies. So there we go. Okay, that's acceptable. 100% kills, 100% secrets, and the time is okay too. So thank you so much for watching. Let's play Heretic Shadow of the Serpent Riders, and on the next episode we're going to take care of the Confluence. Yet another dome. And it looks like it's pointing to a big dome. So thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. Bye.